So what we're going to do is we are going to create a script using the G Cloud command line format without having to memorize any of the options to do so. If you want more Google Cloud tutorials like this, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. With that said, let's get started. From our web console on the left side, we're going to create a new VM instance. Now we can give this any number of settings that we want. We'll call it test instance. We'll go ahead and change our machine type. We'll change our region over to US Central. And we'll go ahead and change our boot disk image. Let's go ahead and do Ubuntu 18.04. You can do any number of changes and customizations from here. But what I want to turn your attention to is that before you click on create, right beneath it, there is this little blue command line reference. If we click on that, the resulting box gives you the exact G Cloud command line format that 100% matches the customized instance that we just created. If you just simply copy and then paste this into a new text document, this is the G Cloud command that will create the instance in the exact manner that you created here. Now, if you do a little bit of cleanup, specifically remove the project specification, that way you can reuse the script over and over again in a new project. You can now easily recreate this instance over and over again with whatever type of customization that you want. Let's go ahead and try one more piece of customization in a different service and let's see if we can make that script happen. Let's go ahead and create a new firewall rule. And we'll go ahead and fill out some information. We'll go ahead and call it test rule. We'll set it for all instances on our network. Our source IP range will be all zeros to allow public access. And for this example, we'll go ahead and allow ports 443 and 80 for HTTP and HTTPS. And once again, notice the model before clicking on create, we will click on the little blue command line reference. And then once again, this is the exact G Cloud command line equivalent of what we just did here. I'll go ahead and copy, close it out, paste it. Once again, do a little bit of cleanup by removing our project ID. And now we have two commands that we can execute repeatedly in any project that we want with the exact same specifications that did here. Let's go ahead and test out to see if we can make this script happen. I'm gonna go ahead and copy my entire text field on the right side, go into our Cloud Shell environment at the bottom, and I'm going to go ahead and create a new script file using Vim, and we'll just call it testscript.sh. From here, we'll go ahead and insert, paste everything we just copied on the right side, and then save and close out of our script file. Last thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and execute the script and let's see if we're successful. I'm gonna go ahead and just type in dot space testscript.sh. And after about a minute, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video and come back and we will see if our script is successful. After about a minute of waiting, our script is successful. We'll verify the results. And here we have our test firewall rule. And if we go back to compute engine, we have our test instance there. And that is how you can easily build complex scripts using the web console reference. Again, if you want more Google Cloud tutorial videos like this one, please like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're new to Google Cloud, I highly recommend starting with our Google Cloud Essentials course that's listed on your screen right now. Thanks for watching.